All right, so I didn't get any footage of putting the head on there. Nothing much to see there. But uh, going to torque them down. Start in the center here. I was just checking that one. I'm starting off at 50, and then I'm going to... I'm going to go to 110 to 120 because they say 95, but some guy on the internet said go to 110. And our torque wrench isn't exactly the best, so it's not ratcheting. But I'm at 50 right now. Might bump it to 75. Then go to 110 or whatever. So I'll bring you back when we start going higher and I don't have to keep tightening slowly with this. Alright, so we're at about 110 foot-pounds now. Double-click everything. Maybe triple click it. Top ones are pretty easy because you can get everything out of your way. But the bottom ones without ratcheting head can be kind of annoying. Thought I got that one, but double check. We'll go through them all again too, just to make sure. And I got that one. So this one. Okay. Then come up here. What? We're just starting in the middle and working our way out. I think I got that one. Yep, this one. And we're just on to the end one. So I'm going to run back through them, make sure every single one got the proper torque. But like I say, you just start in the middle, go down, then I come back up to next two, next two, next two, next two, next two, next two. And it seems to work out all right. All right, so we just adjust the valve lash on all of them so we started off with cylinder one at top dead center and went through and did i think one two three then five seven nine and then you uh crank it over bump it until cylinder six is at top dead center and then you adjust whichever ones you didn't adjust and we're adjusting them to 0 0.027.
Okay, so 560s all back together. Uh, I guess not complete. Got to put the hoods back on. But we got a thermostat coming. The old thermostat's a little messed up. Yeah, we hear you cows. Uh, but the thermostat, you know, with the supply chain these days, or lack of supply chain, we're waiting on it. So, threw it back together. We actually gutted the thermostat to put in there because it was letting it get too hot. But you need some restriction. So there's just a gutted thermostat in there right now. That way we can feed cattle with it. We can feed hay. Uh, got it hooked back up to the feed wagon. Gonna have to grind feed this weekend. But... I'll show you it run. So, <clears throat> sounds pretty good. Uh, that was no choke, fired right off. I mean, yeah, it's warm out, but before you had to choke it and play with the choke to keep it running because it was getting antifreeze in a cylinder. And it's actually quite a bit quieter, I think, because you're not getting any of the valve noise with the new valves in there. So, wanted to show you guys that. Now... Maybe we'll go check out the black beans, and whenever a thermostat comes in, I'll probably show you me changing that out. That won't take long. Pretty easy right there without the hoods on or anything. And then we'll throw the hoods back on it. Maybe. Know how much you guys love our hoodless tractors. So, talk to you in a few. Well, it looks like we're going to be doing hay here pretty soon. I'm on my way out to check the black beans, so I'll show you them. Uh, also, I didn't want to forget, huge shout out and thank you to Nuco Engine, or per, Nuco Performance Engines. Uh, you can check them out on Facebook, they're in Kentland, Indiana. Uh, Newton County. That's New Co. Like N E W C O Engine Performance or Performance Engines. If you type it in, it'll come up on Facebook. But they got that head knocked out real quick. Uh, new valves, valve springs, and resurfaced it, cleaned it up real nice, and got it back to us all in three days. So. Huge thank you to them, and we'll go out and check the black beans now. Well, here's what the black beans look like. This is them. You can see that one's still got a bean on it, so they're still coming up. They kind of just look like weeds, but they're planted in yeah, straightish rows. That'll work. The weeds are coming in, like that's a weed. better so that way I can make sure I'm on the rows but uh, then I'll be out here field cultivating them or cultivating them not field cultivating them but then here's the wheat too see it's coming in nicely looks like a pretty decent head these are kind of on the end It's a little thicker out there. It's a little spotty here on the corner. But there's the 
crop update. Black beans are growing. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. We'll have more videos to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.